Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be discussing owls. I'm sure you all know by now that the new animal coming to Jamar is an owl. And everyone has a pretty good idea of what the owls are going to look like. The first picture of the owl that was revealed was in the Jamar Journal last week on the 22nd of January where you had to solve a puzzle and the end results ended up being the new animal which is an owl. The picture was a pretty good picture of the owl. You could see all the features, what shape it would be, and etc. And today I'm going to be using some footage that I have gathered to try and discover how big the owl will be and I will also be showing you some of the owl's movements. You've probably all seen this footage before in the new adventure because Rosie the owl is the person helping you in the adventure but I'm going to be showing the people who maybe haven't seen it or would like to see it closer up and I'm going to analyze how big it would be in normal Jamar because when you play the adventure the animal seems smaller than it actually is like for example now I'll show you as you can see the lion seems much smaller here than it is when I am in normal AJ, not in the adventure. So I'm going to be trying to find out how big the owl is going to be. First of all, um, let me just show you the moves and then I'm going to discuss the size of it. This is the dance. It looks so cool. Um, I love how the head rotates because it works perfectly with the animation that AJ put up of the owls which I will show you at the end as well if you haven't seen it and I love how the wings move and I just adore the whole general movement. Here's some video footage of the owl flying normally which I'm sure you've noticed already before. Um, yeah its head pops off a little bit and the wings flap very hard like it's trying to try desperately to stay flying. I think it's adorable and I love the whole cartoonish movement of it. I think it's it's really good. I love how they animated that. The next thing is how the owl jumps. The nice thing is is that it fits the owl really, really well because the way it flies, it's kind of its head kind of pops off a little bit and then it goes down. So it's a whole very jerky kind of movement. So the hop works really, really well with how it flies. Okay, let's move on to how I've worked out the size of the owl. First of all, here is a video of my eagles flying right next to the owl in the adventure. Now, what I've done is, okay, you can see it's aligned there, and I tried to get it all close as possible, so you can see what, so you can see how close it is in comparison. Um, the owl looks really, really small compared to the eagle, um, but then again, eagles are really, really oversized for what they are. Now, if I move the picture of the owl and the eagle over each other, you can get a good comparison of, see the eagle and the eagle and the adventure, I've managed to match up the sizes exactly, so it's a pretty accurate representation at this point. Now, if I replace the eagle with a bunny, you can see that the torso, aka body, is exactly the same or very similar to that of a rabbit. So, you can expect it to be around about the same size as a regular bunny, so it's really not going to be that big. But then again, it's still got a lot of actions and stuff to make up for it, but this is a very rough video on what it's going to be like some more things about the owls they will be coming out next week on the 5th of february i think because that's when the new dens are coming out and that's when the owls should come out um i suspect them to either i suspect them to either be a member gem animal or a member diamond shop animal judging by the size and everything and generally how ajhq is what do you think the owl is going to be like? Do you think this video was accurate in the description of the owl? If my opinion you think might be plausible. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave a thumbs up if you did. And I've already said the question over there, but I'll say it again. The question is, do you think this theory is plausible? Do you think that it might be this size? If you've got any idea of what the player would be like, just let me know in the comments as well, because I'd be really interested to hear. Hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day, and I'll see you some other time. Bye!